Beating sea salts has been an age-old remedy for a lot of different health ailments. And it's been used by the Egyptians since, what, 10,000 BC and even up to modern days. But are there any clinical studies or are, is, is it scientifically proven that actually bathing in sea salt actually has any sort of health benefits for you? Now, in this particular video, we'll be breaking down three health benefits of bathing in sea salt have on your skin and on your general health as well. So if you want to stay tuned, you know, watch until the end of the video and we actually have a bonus tip at the end of the video just for you guys. Now, before we continue with the video, guys, just smash the subscribe button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm tremendously. And so here we go, smash it, smash the button in three, two, one, now. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we explain, you know, things that have been used for centuries and supposedly has a lot of health benefits. And now we break it down to easy to digest science and as well as back it up with clinical studies. Now in this video, we'll be talking about benefits of bathing in sea salt. Now, when we're talking about bathing in sea salt, we're not talking about bathing in regular sea salt or sea water. Now, most of the clinical studies that we have searched actually uses dead sea salt instead of regular sea salt. Now, what is a dead sea salt? Generally, it's salt that comes from this particular sea. Now, the dead sea is not unlike any other sea. It is cut off from the ocean and what happens is over centuries and centuries and millennia, the water actually dries up and then hence the contents of the salt in dead sea is actually different than regular sea salt. Now, when you compare, regular sea salt has roughly about 80 to 85% sodium chloride, which is regular kosher salt or kitchen, kitchen salt. Now, when compared to the dead sea salt, which only has 30% sodium chloride, dead sea salt actually contains a higher percentage of magnesium chloride at 35%. and also contains a very high concentration of other minerals, which you can't actually find in regular sea salt things like selenium, calcium, potassium, and bromide. So let's start with the first benefit of bathing in sea salt. Benefit number one of bathing in sea salt is it improves your skin barrier. Now in the study done, they actually took people with atopic dermatitis or people with really dry skin and eczema. And what they did was they actually had two solution of water one with date sea salt, roughly about concentration of 5%, and one is regular water. So they got them to soak each hand in each of this particular solution. So what they discovered is when they follow up these patients one to six weeks after the initial experiment, they discovered that the hand which was soaked in the dead sea salt actually had a better skin barrier and lower transepidermal water loss. Hence means that with a better skin barrier, it actually traps more water underneath and then it actually improves your skin's hydration. So what does this mean? It means that if you are suffering from things like dry skin, atopic dermatitis or something like eczema, you could definitely bathe in date sea salt roughly about once a week or once every two weeks. And remember, if you're bathing in date sea salt, please make sure the concentration is not high, roughly between 5 to 10%. And once you're soaked in, the, in, in it, stay in it for roughly about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Now, once you're out, you can actually rinse it off with regular water or you can just dab it dry and then expect your skin barrier to actually improve tremendously. Second benefit of bathing dead sea salt, it actually helps reduce inflammation. Now, what researchers have discovered is that magnesium binds well with water. And once magnesium binds in water, it actually creeps into your skin much easier. So it means that if you're suffering from some sort of inflammatory skin disease, things like eczema or some sort of infection. Bathing in dead sea salt actually helps reduce the amount of inflammation. And that in turn, reduced inflammation also helps repair your skin barrier. So if you're constantly suffering from flakiness of your skin, dryness of your skin, and as well as redness of your skin, you know, do consider bathing in dead sea salt roughly about once a week. Third benefit, it reduces wrinkles. Now, bathing date sea salt does not prevent wrinkles from appearing. It is not Botox in a bottle. However, because there is lesser trans epidermal water loss, like what we mentioned in point number one, now your skin is more hydrated, 
Hence, there is slower appearances of wrinkles. So even though bathing date sea salt might not be an anti-aging treatment or anti-aging skin routine, but there's definitely no harm bathing in date sea salt. And at the same time, it over the long period of time, slows down the appearance of wrinkles. Hey guys, before we continue with the video, do you know where to buy date sea salt? Let me know in the comments below and paste the link maybe you benefit people in our community. Number four, it helps reduce psoriasis. Now, the magnesium, high concentration of magnesium in the dead sea salt actually reduces the proliferation of abnormal skin cells. Now, in psoriasis, what happens is the top layer of your skin is actually uh, has an abnormal growth and it overgrows. So bathing dead sea salt actually slows down or inhibits the growth of abnormal skin cells. And over a long period of time, it actually reduces and prevents the flare-up of psoriasis. So if you have psoriasis, trust me, bathing in dead sea salt once a week definitely helps calm down your irritated psoriatic skin. And if you think I'm the only one recommending bathing in dead sea salt for your psoriasis issues, the National Psoriasis Association in US also recommends bathing in dead sea salt occasionally from time to time. Now, bonus tip, not only does it actually help regular skin psoriasis, it also helps psoriatic arthritis. Now, psoriatic arthritis is actually a complication when you have psoriasis. You know, you have started to get you know, aches and pains in your joints. And soaking yourself in a dead sea salt roughly about once a week actually helps modulate or helps ease that particular um, uneasiness or that pain in your joints. And since we're talking about pain in the joints, there is also a couple of studies here and there which shows that bathing in dead sea salt or soaking yourself in dead sea salt actually helps soothe or helps reduce the pain when you have things like osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. So it's definitely something to consider. Doesn't matter if you're suffering from psoriatic arthritis, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Now for the bonus tip, now that we know that there's actually a lot of skin benefits from bathing in dead sea salt or salt water, how about other health benefits? You know, are there really other particular health benefits from bathing in salt water or dead sea salt? Now, in a particular study which, which shows that if you bathe in dead sea salt or deep sea salt, now the difference between deep sea water salt and regular sea water salt is that the deep sea water salt is harvested 200 meters below the surface level. And now at this particular depth, there is lesser sodium chloride and more of the other sort of minerals equivalent to the dead sea salt. Now what they notice is when you have muscle fatigue and you're soaked inside a, a bath of um, deep sea salt or dead sea salt, it actually reduces the amount of joint pains and muscle aches. It's because that magnesium inside dead sea salt or the deep sea salt actually helps reduce the amount of lactic acid which your body produces. And high amounts of lactic acid gives you that particular soreness after you exercise. So soaking in um, so soaking in sea salt actually helps reduce all these muscle aches. Now we know that soaking in dead sea salt or sea salt actually helps. How about drinking seawater? Now, first of all, don't drink seawater because drinking seawater actually kills and damages your kidneys. But there are researchers that show if you desalinate seawater, it means you reduce the you remove the salt from the seawater, it actually has health benefits. Now the health benefits are in a controlled environment and uh, the, the research has been only done on rats and rabbits, but it shows that it helps reduce cholesterol levels, helps reduce hypertension, diabetes. Even there is a particular study that shows that it helps reduce the amount of cancer. There is even a study that shows it reduces the incidence of cancer. However, this study should be taken with a pinch of salt because it's all based on animal studies and not actual human studies. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think of bathing in salt water. Have you ever done it before? Let me know in the comments below whether you've done it before and what are the benefits that you actually know. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and more importantly, turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. Now, that's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And also remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. 
Skin Fix, your digital skin doctor.